All of you, you are abusing INEC. INEC is not doing anything about, about vote buying. INEC is just watching. People who are using money to buy vote, they are just collecting. Is it the job of INEC to arrest those who are selling vote and buying vote? INEC, chairman sir, INEC was the one that invited EFCC into the electionary process. We brought EFCC into ISIS. In 2019, the EFCC, they were here during the election. They went to Ibaraka area. They were in some strategic places in Ibadan. In Ekiti, EFCC, they were there. They are going to be in national state. Security. Let us engage security. So I enjoy Splash FM. One of the best things you can give to the people of your state, scrutinize the security agencies very well. Let them come and tell you. One of the things that gave us success in your state, as INEC, was because we engage, engage, re-engage, over-engage the stakeholders. And eventually, we are happy for it. If any stakeholder keeps silent, chairman, keep silent, no information, no education. Ojoro mpo la bele, eni kofe shojoro. So engage the security. Let security agency provide more security in strategic places at the polling unit. So that somebody will not have a field day. In the southeast in 2019, I noticed I became a leader of Operation Clearance. My coppers, they were kidnapped, quote and unquote. They were locked up in various hideouts. My electoral officer was almost killed. Where they hid, where she was, where, where, where they kept her, she called me. Distress call. I carried more than 60 policemen from one local, from one polling unit to the other. We became rescue operator. Is that my job? Is, is it not because I am young? Uh, this job, is it, is it meant for young people like me? It's for people like prof. Eh? But can prof at this age, can you try to jump from here to that place five times? Can you try it? Let us talk to the security so that they will do the right thing at all times. Also, our location of, sorry, location of our polling unit, we have changed them. Read it in your paper. What we have done is that all the wrongly cited polling units, we have changed them from where they were. Polling units in the palaces, polling units in the mosque, polling units in the churches, we have relocated them. Polling units in the compound of, a politi of, a, of politicians, we have removed them. We have removed them. When we started, they were shouting. They wrote petition and said, Now you sabi, now I neck policy. Do you know that we removed polling unit from shrine? But not in the southwest. All in the southeastern Nigeria. Ah, Nigeria. Another skepticism. It's for you to say that INEC predetermines election results. Most people today, they are not encouraged to go and vote because they believe. Don't marry. Somebody told me. You, you want to run mad. What are you talking about? The process you have not started. You are saying INEC already knows the result. All those stereotypes, let us run away from them. Very good. The one that is very important, and I want to do little tafsir, if you allow me. Inconclusiveness of an election. Prof, you will have read it, that INEC was the one that made Oshun 2014 or 20 what? Is it 2014? 18, 2018. That was INEC that made it inconclusive. That is the narrative. And it is because it was an ignorant person spreading that narrative. That is all of us, we are following them. Now, let me give you the background. 
An inconclusive election arises. Listen to this. In a situation where the commission we have to apply, the margin of lead principle, margin of lead principle to a particular situation before a winner can be declared. What is margin of lead principle? It arises in a situation where in a particular election, the PVC collected, listen up, PVC collected in the affected polling unit exceed the difference between the leading candidate and the runner-up in that election. And that is why, if you follow me, I said, let the security minimize the degree of disruptions. Because by the time you have the leading candidate and the runner-up, the leading candidate may be scoring one million. And the other candidate, by the time we look at the entire disruption, we are, we are awarded zero, zero, zero. We discover that those who collected the, sorry, the, the runner-up, the, the candidate is what, one million, Abby? The other one is 800,000. What is the difference? Now, the PVC collected there is 650. INEC will not declare results. That's what you don't know. And that's why I told you that it is those who know that should ask questions. Sorry, those who don't know that should ask questions. Those who know should spread knowledge. It is not the ignorant that you should listen to. In what situation can we have inconclusive election? Number one, where the commission is unable to deploy to polling units because of logistic challenges, a date for supplementary election shall be announced. We want to go and do election in the north, for example. Security is very difficult. We cannot go there. We will not conclude that process until we are able to conclude it, just like we did in Anambra. People are saying, Anambra State, they have 21, 21 uh, local government. We have con you have collected 20, 20 local government. Say, be just one local government. And now the result now, it is not done that way. All the electorate should be given the opportunity to vote. Where there is willful obstruction of the process, there is resistance to the use of beavers. Very good. Politicians who are here, you have been telling your hoodlums to hijack the beavers that they should not use it. People must be allowed to vote manually. It happened in Ekiti East. You know, Prof, Ekiti East is a very volatile area, Omo. Very, very volatile place. In some polling unit, they did not allow our staff to use technology. You know what we have told them in the training? We told them, save your life. If under the rest, they say they, you must not use it, say you will not use it, just give them paper, let them turn print and vote. You know our regulation, once they come back to the coalition, it is zero, zero, zero. Me to start one year, one woman, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those are the situation. There are ten of them. So these regulations, I have a soft copy of it. If you need it, you can get in touch with Shenwa Kiola. I will send it to him. He will give you again. Electoral offenses and prosecution of offenders. Edmund Obilo want INEC to start punishing and arresting all the offenders who committed one infraction or the other during the election. Edmund is not the job of INEC. INEC is only to prosecute. It is those security agencies. That is why they have to be here. They are not here. They are the one to arrest. Complete the case file. And hand over to INEC. On election day, if I see anybody doing the vote by 
Eh? My eyes will not see him. My eyes will become blood. I will just be going like this. Even if you call me and say, Rek, see them. I say, you are mad. See who? Is it my job? So, but by section 145 of electoral act, INEC has the power to prosecute through our legal department. These are the things that we have to know. You don't need to be skeptical about it. Now, can election stakeholders mark the election? I have listed 16, 17 stakeholders here. Political parties, media organizations, civil society, like that, like that, like that. But political parties, party agents, and observers, they can mark election for us. Most of the observers are only observers for, politic, for the candidates, political parties. What is your, what are you observing? After the election, you claim to have written a report. Then give it to the REC. REC send it to the chairman. You write the report, you are now addressing the press. Party agents, all the political parties that you know, on election day, come and see them, chairman, at the polling unit. In Ekiti, there were 17 or so parties that contested that election. Only three political parties that I saw in all the polling units I went. Prof, out of the three, I now discovered that, as a matter of fact, two of them were working in alliance. So all the stakeholders must do the correct thing, the right thing on election day so that we can get it better. I next staff members. I next staff members. Help me clap for my staff, please. Clap for them. They are very good staff. But there are good people among them. There are criminals among them. Yes. They know. They are here. They know. They are. But there are good people among them. Among our junior staff, some of them can destroy the process. Because a level 17 officer, sorry, level 7 officer, sorry, that connived with a politician and stole the permanent voter's card with a view to selling it to him. Is he not a devil? Level 7. So, our staff too, they can destroy the process. And that is why I said, no assistance should be sought from any INEC staff. And no INEC staff should, pro, should patronize any politician for anything. Let me tell you here, and I'm saying it unequivocally, any politician that believes in any INEC can assist him or her to win election is a joker and a dreamer. In 2023, no assistance can come from any INEC staff. Jokulale, jokulale. I now put it here. You read it there. That even I, I, muti walaleke, bemeleke adisa agboke, omo olo uoduru, as a resident electoral commissioner, chairman, I cannot assist anybody. I have never assisted anybody. The result of our elections have been product of what the masses decided. Security, the law enforcement security agencies. I have said a lot. Any security personnel of any agency that focuses on the interest of who wins election, or any security of any agency that chooses to harass, intimidate, or molest INEC officials on election day. Mr. Chairman, I was molested, I was harassed, I was almost kidnapped in 2019. Yeah. In 2019, Mr. Chairman, 
My staff, members of staff, were arrested in the local local government without recourse to me. They were whisked to Abuja for headquarters, and I followed them to Abuja, and we fought it. My staff came back on skated. Nothing happened to them. And chairman, you know why? Where the leader, the head of NSDC, for example, is a good man. My your guy is my friend. We will not do that. The leader, you know, all of us, we are always together in the election. FRSC, all of us. The interest of each of them should be the process, not the candidates. Can you imagine the head of a security outfit in this state? Who was supposed to protect me? I was supposed to be under his protection. Was now the one that looked at me high to high. I say, where are you going? I say, I'm going nowhere. We will all die here. He thought I was joking. He went, imagine, somebody who was supposed to be interested in the process went to go and write a petition on behalf of a candidate. Is it, is it, is it the country we, we claim to be? Where security agencies are threatening, harassing the election managers. Nothing good will come out of such elections. So, our advice should be that let us engage them so that they can do the right thing appropriately. Civil society groups should also do the right thing. Political parties in your state, let us talk to them to do the right thing and party agents. I need preparations toward 2023 general election. Preparation number one is about the CVR, continuous voters registration. We have extended it now. Now, it has no closing date. Because the Federal High Court in Abuja said, INEC must not stop. We should continue. Though we are in court, so INEC cannot just continue. It's because the court doesn't know how INEC works. So, we have joined issues now. Our lawyers and the lawyers of Serap, we are in court. So, until the court determines the case, finally, the CVR continues. CVR, go to the local government in your state. Go and do the registration. But that is not my interest. My interest is the uncollected permanent voter card. In our state now, we have over 700 PVCs uncollected. Yes. So let us try. Seven what? Seven. What did I say? 700,000 PVCs uncollected in our state. So, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, INEC process now is technologically based. For the purpose of registration, the same machine I told you about is what we use for registration. During the registration, we call it IVET. During the voting election, we call it BIVAS. And that is one of the things we have introduced. Also, INEC introduced our election, sorry, resort viewing portal. Resort viewing portal. You can view resort.